three, two, one, action. I'm Carl James Langford. And I'm Owen Langford. And this discussion today is a relatively short discussion by YouTube standards, but I've been asked to continue um, a look at slavery, maybe throughout the ages, but just an overview on what we think. So I'm going to try and keep skin colour out of this, because my previous video on slavery, people were saying, oh, look, at I'm a white guy, and they're another skin colour, and it's just like, slavery shouldn't be about skin colour. What do you think? Well, in all, in all ages, there has been a... There has been slavery, whether it's been derivated from colour or a matter of class, religion, religion, yeah, age. Uh, it doesn't really matter as as long as as long as as long as there is a class system, there will all there has and always will be slavery. What about this one? Um, apparently, purportedly, the Great Pyramid of Khufu, uh, which is some archaeologists believe was constructed uh, 2,580 years BC. Some believe it was constructed a long time before that. Up until recent years, people used to believe that was constructed by um, slaves. Uh, most of the pyramids, in fact all of the pyramids, were to be presumed to be built and constructed by slaves. Up until recently, when we've learned that these were just, these people were paid. Uh, well, paid in kind because they, they, yeah. they had their own villages. We, we found out that uh, people who were building the Great Pyramids for like a year or two years would have their family with them. They, 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 they had all the food, they were being looked after, all the stonemasons and stuff. And having a life working on these pyramids, um, these people were not slaves. So, no. with, with the definition, what, what is it? So, if these people building pyramids weren't slaves, what is the definition of slavery? Well, slavery in and of itself is a means of controlling a minority or or a majority or a majority yeah but i think i think regardless regardless of the people that it's being that is controlling or uh, provoking the means of control it's all a matter of who has the least amount of 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 wealth or the least amount of importance if you are not an important person then you can consider yourself a slave the, the, yeah, go on, carry on. Say, for example, right now in the 21st century, where, where we presume that the entire world has abolished slavery <laughs> in all forms. Yeah. We, in and of ourselves, are slaves. If we, if we were communists... Slaves of the society, yeah. Yeah. If we yeah. were communists, then perhaps we'd all be equal. But on the other hand, there is always going to be someone who's on top. And because they're on top... They're the person who pays you and gives you this idea of freedom or this idea of knowing, say, you, you know what you want to do and you know what you want to buy. You, you, know, you, know, you know how you want to live. So you do you. But on the other hand, uh, but on the other hand, th there's examples in history, very recent history, extreme. such as extreme, extreme extremely slavery, recent. Yeah. In, the, um, in the past years where... Where the where the where a lot of mines in Wales was taking place, uh, a lot of the Welsh people who were take who were actually the miners were actually they were they weren't slaves. But for, but that was their only output, wasn't it? They, 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 you could either work down a, um, a mine or you, you that was it. And and lots of people working down mines in throughout the eighteen hundreds were actually having Tommy shop tokens. Mm -hmm. So they the only wealth that they actually had had to be spent in the in the mine owner's building. See, when, when William Wilberforce is, is we're, we're looking at the idea of the abolition of slavery at the end of the 1700s into the 1800s in Britain and, and throughout the British world, um, it, it's, it's that sense that um, slavery, slavery is absolutely abhorrent. Um, and the way for slavery to be abolished, it has to be seen throughout the whole of society. Um, you know, it has to be completely frowned upon. Um, but but the sense of slavery itself, you know, lots of people watching this from the states because I know lots of people in the states will say what what are two Caucasus cor type people doing talking about slavery? Both of us are gypsy stock, so we're not exactly white white. No. Uh, I've added colour in there, which is unfortunate, but I've got to put this in as a bit of a defence. But um, we we 
we we we think of um, we, we think of areas where where slavery has been undertaken in different forms. So let, let's let's look at um, let's look at before the abolition of of slavery in 1863, when Abraham Lincoln said, "Let's ab let's ab abolish slavery." This was about uh, people um, of a certain ethnic colour um, seeing uh, themselves um, emancipation of the slavery. They, they were to be free. But on, in the world, um, at the same time in the 1860s, there were people who were of a different skin colour, different religion and all the rest of it, being enslaved by the Ottoman Empire. Slavery was still legal within the Ottoman world. So whatever skin colour you were, you were to be enslaved. Doesn't, because it doesn't matter. It, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's exactly. all this old class system. Yes. It, it's like, if, if, you are, if you earn a certain amount, or you are from a certain dynasty, or heritage, then you're fine to do whatever. But everyone, even we as people, we still have, we still have a price on our head. Whether we like it or not, we can be sold. If someone if someone's to come round and and take and take you, they'll sell you, and they can make money on you because somewhere, whether we like it or not, there's a, is, system, there's a system that will control you. Yeah, but but obviously obviously that that that's the that's the perspective of modern slavery. But um, but the sense of old slavery is still with us. I.e., people in shackles. You know, in in certain parts of the world, for example, uh, we we hear often you know the two big religions, Christianity and Islam. Uh, people from Islam taking people who are Christians to do different things and Christians in Africa taking um, Muslims to do certain things because they're a different 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 religion obviously that that's the sense of old slavery and and when we when, when we when we think about uh, when we think about parallels I don't think there could be any right or wrong sense of slavery um, when, when we think about what built the Roman Empire slavery yeah uh, and and you you can think um, away from the skin color, if you were a if you were a country that had been conquered, you could be enslaved. Um, and no life life would naturally be be horrific um, to be somebody who's enslaved. I, I don't know um, I don't know if Owen you've ever come across this or anyone watching us has come across this. Uh, there's a there's a um, Voltaire. He's, he's a pen name Voltaire um, for a, a book. Um, it's basically a um, book called Candide, okay, uh, and it said that um, in Candide there, there's there's characters in Candide and they're, they're often talking about slavery. Um, they're talking about people um, from the West being enslaved by people in in the in the old Islamic world in in the 1700s, um, and your know, conditions were really bad and and lots of people who were being enslaved were actually people with wealth. But they happened to be on the wrong boat at the wrong time, overtaken by people who thought, right, you're now going to be a slave. So you can have a lot of money, but you can be enslaved, but you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. For, this, this comes with, with, I'm sure, lots of um, viewers will be thinking about, um, we often hear about um, people um, at the time of the emancipation of, of slavery in, in America in, in um, 1863, where you've got people saying, well, I was a... I was once a tribal leader in Africa and suddenly my tribe was completely enslaved. I as a tribal leader was enslaved um, and now I'm to be controlled by somebody else. And in, in, and in his society, he would have been, he would have been worshipped in a way. He, he would have been, he would, he would have been idolised as a leader. Yes. And, and, well, none of that matters. None of that matters. It's, it's, it's what people can make, make out of you. Whoever you are, you can be enslaved. I think that's what we're trying to put across here. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, in America, for the, for the most part, uh, although, although, although people of colour were a common occurrence, and the reason we know so much about it is because we, is because we, take, we take history of... A pi of a, a people, yeah, and we we condone that history to to as much br as much of the brutality that we remember, and then the rest of their history, and then we go, what has what have they done, yeah, to contribute to history, and in a way, in a way, if you look if you only look at the negatives, you're only going to get the you're negatives. Only going to get the. You're negatives. only going to. It's it's for example that that is a really good point, and. Um, 
and I, I think this will lead into part two, actually, because it's part one of, of the slavery uh, video. And one, 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 one thing, the one thing that you've actually said there was actually brilliant, because when we look at the sense of um, slavery by the Vikings, um, of people of, of, of Western Europe, what they were doing, they would come into um, villages where, where you would have a village or you'd have a monastic landscape, um, the, and, and basically whoever you were, you'd be enslaved. Um, and then what we then do, we then basically say, say that the only contribution the Vikings ever made to society was enslaving people, which is completely wrong. Be, be, because the, 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 the Vikings themselves may have taken numbers of slaves to build their world, but the Viking world was not just about slavery. No. Um, and, and I think the point that you've just made about um, African-Americans, right? Um, their contribution to modern day America is massive, but the contribution of people who are of Irish stock to North America is massive. Massive um, and, and Chinese. <laughs> people, people forget you. People forget that um, cheap Chinese labour, which is basically they're being enslaved. They, they yeah. were enslaved for the most part. Uh, they, they, they were, they were paid, but it, it, it's like, it's well, like, well, you couldn't go home, could you? Well, you're not gonna. You, you've got to stay. How, there. how are you gonna get home? You're not gonna get home. So no. you, 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 you tell someone you're gonna get paid. You'll get paid. You'll be put on small a amounts of money. Yeah, small sh like shekels, nothing. You'll you you'll be given shekels nothing. shekels with being shackled in a yeah, way. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh it's scary.